so this is OpenMV IDE. So one thing to note is um, to make the OpenMV experience better, we have a uh, IDE basically that um, kind of connects to the camera and lets you stream data out of it and kind of gives you the visual feedback of what the camera is seeing at the same time. And so uh, it comes with examples. So it's built um, to be like the Arduino IDE. That's the whole purpose. And when I was talking about like doing person detection, um, literally when you plug the camera in, you get this little hello world script. Um, you can see it's running about 30 FPS right now and you can see me. And then you can go to examples and say, okay, I want to do like, you know, person detection. And so I can just click this. This is a person detection example script. You can stop and start. Um, and now it is detecting if I'm a person or no person. So you can see up there, no person, person. And so you can very easily script the camera then to control the IO pin, literally to just make the IO pin go high or low if a person or no person is in the field of view. Boom, you're done. That's one of your applications. Hey, now you can build light switches that detect people. Um, you put a little delay timer on that so it detects a person, you know, keep the IO pin high for like, you know, some amount of time. And if it doesn't detect a person, make the IO pin low if it doesn't detect someone for a certain amount of time or whatever. Um, and the micro that I just showed off um, can do the same script. Right now we're running on the H7 Plus, um, which is a little bit higher end system um, because people kept asking us to make the platform take higher resolution images and have SDRAM. Um, cool. And so I want to show off a new feature today that we added um, for training custom neural networks. So right now I was showing off with person detection a built-in network. So we have about a... Uh, so the person detector network is about a 260 kilobyte network built into our flash. And so anyone can use it with our product. It's already on board. But um, we have a new feature called the um, data set editor, which allows you to create data sets. Um, and so this is going to basically uh, kind of let you uh, capture images using the OpenNVCam to make a new data set. Let's just call this data set. Double click that, select it. And when the data set editor opens, it'll basically open this thing called a data set editor capture script. And what this will allow you to do now is capture images using the open MV cam of an object so that you can classify, um, uh, you know, classify, make your own image classifiers. Um, so let's say we have the micro here and we want to uh, make a class called micro. So we can click this and just say micro. Cool. And now that's going to make the micro class. And then we can just click here. And of course, this is out of focus. You know, the pictures look jacked up, whatever. I'm not just trying to do a demo real quick. But you can take pictures of this object. And using the IDE, you can kind of capture all of your data set recognition, recognition um, image, uh, images you need, basically. And so the IDE will make that easy. And then um, you can do another class like a SD card, for example. It's storing these images on your computer, right? Yeah, yeah. The whole purpose of this is to make it easy to train a TensorFlow network that does image classification. Like what I was showing off before was a person detector classifier. Um, yeah, it's, the camera's not, the focal length isn't set up to look at an object this small. So this is going to look terrible, but whatever. I'm just trying to show off the idea. Um, but anyway, yeah, you can do this again and then capture pictures of uh, SD card, right? And so the, this feature, what, what, what it's designed to do is give you a way to build a data set using the OpenNVCam of um, uh, it take images directly from the OpenNVCam and then build a data set using that. Um, this is valuable because when you want to build a machine learning data set, you need to capture images from the sensor in the operational mode that it's running in. So like for us, for example, if you wanted to add lens correction or apply some type of rotation correction, like warp perspective or warp affline and open CV and have any medium filtering or whatever, you can do all those operations in this script. And then that will output the, uh, the same type of texture of data that you are going to be running in real life when the system is operating. And then you can uh, collect images that all look that way. Um, that way, the, uh, the machine vision algorithm, uh, the CNN will have the highest performance. And then once you're done, you can just go to data set editor, export data set, and that will generate a zip file which you can save. And that zip file then can be uploaded to Edge Impulse, which is what Daniel is here. So um, yeah, the whole idea is OpenMV IDE makes it easy to capture said de image data sets. And this can be from thermal images that you take using the OpenNVCam, using our lepton adapter or whatever. Um, you know, We've had customers come to us and ask us really hard problems like, can you tell me the direction of wood grain you know, in a picture? 
like literally this imagine you have a fixed piece of wood and there's the grain on that wood and they ask like is it they want to know whether or not the grain is upside down or right side up and when you look at that it's like yeah it's an impossible problem i need a cnn to do it and so the idea behind the data set editor is now you can just deploy the open MVCAM cam in the right um, system uh, capture the images of the two classes you need to identify and then it can do image classification for you to tell you um, the difference between those objects all right so let's switch to edge impulse now um, so Edge Impulse is uh, a new feature that has been worked on by, um, uh, well, sorry, Edge Impulse is a new product and service that has just come out, and uh, Daniel is part of the team there. It's made by Zach Shelby. And so Edge Impulse uh, allows you to train a neural network for a microcontroller and uh, do that online in the cloud. Um, normally, this is super intractable for most users because installing the tool chains to train neural networks is usually harder than doing the training um, for some ridiculous reason. Uh, so, you know, also it just doesn't work on everyone's platform. Trying to get that working on Mac, Windows, and Linux is typically uh, very, very difficult. So Edge Impulse takes that all away. Now you have OpenMV IDE, which can run on Mac, Linux, Windows, and Raspberry Pi. So, you know, pretty much any platform. And once you have that data set that you can collect, you can upload that to Edge Impulse and have it do training for you. So this is a, an example Edge Impulse has posted called Plants versus Lamps. And so they have pictures of plants and lamps. And this is gonna show them training a neural network to detect the difference between it. Um, so let's uh, go to data acquisition. Um, so basically Edge Impulse has this flow. Um, Daniel, if you wanna talk more about that real quick. Yeah. Cool. So essentially you start out, you've got this empty project um, and you gradually go through the process of adding data, um, adding a signal processing pipeline, training a model, testing the model and then deploying it. So it takes you through this ML workflow. So the first thing that you do is think about capturing some data. So you've seen how we can do that with OpenMV's IDE. You can also bring your own data from um, any kind of source you might have a data sets you're using. You can even connect your mobile phone to Edge Impulse and collect data using the camera on your phone. And so once you've got your data set, it shows up in your data acquisition tab here. And we're able to um, automatically split that into a test and training data set for you. Um, so here you can see a bunch of images that we've collected that are random stuff around um, our CTO, Jan's apartment. So some of them have a plant in, some of them have a uh, lamp in, and other ones are stuff that is neither plant nor lamp. So what we're going to do is train a model, uh, and this is all just connect collected with the OpenMV ID. Uh, and what we're going to be able to do is train a model to recognize whether the camera is pointing at a plant or a lamp, and that will run on device. Yep. So once you acquire data and upload it, and so OpenMV ID is designed to make that data acquisition with the OpenMV Cam easy. Um, and the goal, again, of that is just to make sure that you have images that look the same as what the camera actually sees. So you reduce the um, artifact rate of, uh, you know, the neural network looking at different images than it's uh, seeing with its own normal camera. And then you can go to impulse design. And so um, for our system, you basically specify, okay, I want a 96 by 96 input neural network. And then I want to take images in from our, uh, you know, as the input is going to take an image from that data set. And then we're going to do transfer learning. Um, using MobileNet v2, actually, to uh, basically take a pre-trained model that was trained on ImageNet and then do transfer learning to make that work with um, whatever image data set you provide so that it can classify it. Yeah, so to, uh, to just sort of give a bit more background on like what is transfer learning. So vision is kind of a general task. Like if you know how to, if you can train a model that can see a load of different things, it understands what a load of different types of objects are, for example, the model will end up with a lot of general data that gives it an understanding broadly of vision. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of theory behind it, but without going into too much, the different layers of the model essentially learn to distinguish different types of visual features. And then uh, it learns how those different features are, are assembled or constructed into things that us, we would recognize as particular objects. So if you take a model that was trained to recognize um, a thousand different types of thing, you can then take the same weights of that model and customize the model slightly so that it can really accurately recognize 
two new things that it hasn't seen before. So that's what we do in Edge Impulse. So we make that really easy for you. Yeah, and this is the highest level of like, I've been wanting to do this for like a year now, but you know, realizing given I have a day job and my time's limited and I can't do everything, you know, we really need to partner with um, Zach and Edge Impulse to do this. And we're so happy this feature is actually arriving because it really lets you now do what I just told you about Robert, which is design a camera sensor that's dirt cheap, that has one job in life, which is detect X or Y, you know, and you don't have to spin up a giant computer running TensorFlow and Linux and fight a whole SVC's deployment process just to have one basic feature of turning IOPIN high or low to classify between two different types of things.